I decided to start a new series called Building Basics kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang step-by-step -step process ng iba't ibang klase ng mga categories and mga bagay-bagay sa ating buhay. And because of my extreme love for skincare, magsisimula tayo ng Building Basics pagdating sa skincare. Hi everybody! Welcome back! This is Chris. I'm so happy that you guys are watching one of my videos. And if you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Before we continue with this video, let me just share with you guys a little bit of um, parang disclaimer. Kumbaga. Because of the nature of my job, I constantly change things up pagdating sa aking skincare routine. Kasi naman po, palagi po ako nagtetest out ng iba't ibang klase ng skincare products para makapag-recommend ako sa inyo ng mga skincare products na aayon sa inyong mga pangangailangan, lalo na sa inyong skin type. I don't stick to just one skincare routine but that doesn't mean na wala po akong skincare holy grails or mga staples ko, which I will be sharing with you in a future video. So just make sure that you read the description box for more disclaimer and more information. And yung mga products na i-recommend ko sa inyo in this video will be listed down below. So ano pang hinihintay natin? Pagkatapos ng mahabang introduction, pag-usapan na natin ang building base pagdating sa skincare routine. I do have an acne prone oily skin as in extremely oily talaga. Feeling ko lahat ng oils andito lang sa aking face and the rest of my body is extremely dry. Please tell me I'm not the only one na ganito ang sitwasyon para naman kahit pa paano may makarelate sa akin or makarelate din ako sa inyo. But regardless of your skin type may it be normal, may it be dry or may it be like me combo oily acne prone all of us need basic skincare. At base sa aking experience, ayan, merong five skincare products that should be in your simple skincare routine. Magsimula tayo sa pinakauna. Ito po yung mga cleansers. Cleansers are used to remove impurities at saka yung mga dumidumi sa ating mukha na na-accumulate on the top layer of our skin as we go throughout the rest of the day. Pagdating sa mga cleansers, may iba't ibang klase din po yan. Okay, if you are a makeup wearer just like me, you need to know how to double cleanse. Again, I will be doing a separate video talking about double cleansing. Kung kagaya ko nga kayo na nagsusuot ng makeup, kinakailangan na ang first step ninyo during the cleansing part ay matanggal muna yung inyong makeup. So dito sa category na to, meron tayong options. We can either go for a balm cleanser or an oil cleanser. Yung balm cleanser eto yung mga nakalagay sa jar na solid yung kanilang itsura and then once it touches your skin and once it comes contact dun sa iyong body temperature it melts. Once ma-apply mo na siya sa iyong balat, it will melt off the makeup. Another option to cleanse out your makeup is called an oil cleanser. Yung oil cleanser is literally just oil and then you have to use something to apply it with. It can be a cotton pad. It's important to know that oil attracts oil pagdating dito sa sitwasyon na ganito. So if you are wearing waterproof makeup or yung mga makeup na oil-based, mas maganda na mag-start ka talaga na matanggal muna sila using something na oil-based. So that's the first step. Pero halimbawa, if you're not wearing makeup on a daily, you just go all natural, then you can skip this step. Now let's move on to the other types of cleansers. If you have sensitive and dry skin, maganda na ang gamitin mo ay yung mga cream type na mga facial cleansers. An example is this one from Cetaphil. Maganda ito kasi once you apply it on your skin and you rinse it off, ang nangyayari parang it leaves a thin film of oil or lotion on top of your skin. Perfect, lalo na kung ikaw ay dry skin. Napansin ko rin pagdating sa mga cream cleansers, hindi sila sobrang mabula. Which is important kasi lalo na if you have sensitive skin, minsan yung mga pampabula na nasa cleansers, nakaka-irritate ng balat. And lalo na kapag marami yung, kumbaga yung pampabula doon sa cleanser, tapos dry skin ka pa, it will strip off even the last bit of oil or moisture from your skin, which will leave your skin. Kung dry na siya, mas so sobra pa siyang magiging dry. If you have oily combination skin na medyo acne prone, you can go for a gel cleanser. Ako personally, I love using gel cleansers. Ito, in comparison with cream cleansers, medyo mabula-bula na siya. Pero hindi siya yung sobrang frothy na as in bulang-bula talaga ha. May konting bula lang siya. 
One of the best gel cleansers out there is this one from Snail White. This is called the Namu Cactus Jelly Kesak Maset. It has a long name. But this deeply cleanses my skin. Ako nasubuhon ko na po ito having, you know, a skin that is acne prone and sometimes oily. There are better days. Let me tell you that there are better days and nagiging combo skin ako no. Certain parts of my face are just normal. Anyway, going back to the gel cleansers. Ayan, ito isa to sa mga pinakamagandang gel cleansers na nasubukan ko and it's very affordable. But let's say that you experience extreme oiliness sa iyong mukha. This is the part where I would suggest that you go for a foam cleanser. Kasi yung mga foam cleansers, magaling silang mag-unclog ng pores, maganda sila na pangtanggal ng excess sebum. So, eto na po yung perfect cleanser para sa iyo. Now that we're done with the cleansing part, ayan, we are now moving on to the second skincare product. Ito na po yung mga exfoliators. Anong ginagawa ng mga exfoliators? Ito po yung mga products na nagtatanggal ng dead skin na nandyan sa ibabaw ng ating balat. Plus, they unclog pores. Now, there are products na parang hybrid sila, parang cleanser, exfoliator sila. Those products na frothy, tas may mga beads sa loob, I personally do not use such kasi mas gusto ko na I have a separate cleanser. Ayaw ko na everyday I exfoliate my skin kasi that's not healthy even for someone who has extremely oily skin. Now, balikan natin ulit yung mga exfoliators. Yung exfoliators may dalawang klase yan. Yung physical exfoliants at saka yung chemical exfoliants. So, kapag Pag sinabi natin na physical, yan yung may mga magagaspang na texture, yung may parang beads, yun yung mga pinangkukuskus talaga sa mukha na nakikita natin sometimes sa commercial or sometimes on other skincare videos. Right now, I do not use physical exfoliants on my face. Except, except if the beads or yung texture niya are sobrang, how should I say it, parang micro-fine, as in parang pulbos texture, parang ganon. But if the texture is like sugar or like salt, I don't apply that on my face. Although, I use that dito sa likod ko, sa puwet ko, or other parts of my body. Now, let's move on to the other type of exfoliators. Ito yung mga tinatawag na chemical exfoliants. Ayan mo, or chemical exfoliators. Ito yung may mga HA, BHA na mga active ingredients sa kanilang label pag nakita mo yung kanilang mga packaging. Ito, mas nagpe-penetrate ito deep down sa iyong balat at saka it's doing its thing from the inside out. Parang ganun siya. At saka ito, wala siyang masyadong pagbabalat. For me, at least for me, sa experience ko, walang masyadong pagbabalat na nagaganap. Ang Pinaka favorite ko na chemical exfoliant ay ito. This is So Naturals Red Peeling Tingle Serum. Sobrang it's a life-changing product and I will be doing a separate video talking about this and ito talaga yung sabi ko, wow! The very next day, iba talaga yung naging glow ng face ko after using this. And I'm so excited to be sharing with you that particular video. But you guys have to wait. So make sure that you subscribe para ma-notify kayo kapag up na yung video na yun. Si cleansing at saka si exfoliating, maganda po yan gawin habang nasa banyo kayo. Pero pag kayo po ay nandun na sa inyong vanity table, we will move on dun na sa susunod po na product which is the third one. Ito po yung mga toners. Dati, ang sikat na sikat dito sa Pilipinas ay yung mga astringents. Ito yung may mga alcohol content na kapag pinahid mo on your face, ang hapdi-hapdi sa mata, maiiyak ka sa sakit, and it leaves your skin extremely dry kasi dati ang uso siguro nun is yung super duper matte na skin. Pero because of the K-beauty craze, ayan, na-introduce na sa atin yung toners. Toners are more hydrating in comparison sa mga astringents. And personally, I recommend toners over astringents. Unless na lang, i-recommend yan ng inyong dermatologist. But since you're watching my video, ayan, ang recommendation ko ay mga toners. Wait lang, na-mention natin yung hydrating. What is the difference between hydrating at saka yung moisturizing? Ayan, mapag-uusapan natin sila. Pag sinabing hydrate, eto na yung na-absorb mo na yung water. Or naglalagay ka ng tubig sa iyong balat. Parang ganun siya. Mamaya yung moisturizing, pag-uusapan natin yun ha, pero I will just stop right here. So pag sinabi natin a product is hydrating, you're bringing back moisture, you're bringing back water on your skin. 
Maliban pa doon, toners balance your skin's pH. So, importante na balance yung pH level. I will put more information about your skin's pH level in the description box below. Now, pagdating sa toners, there are endless choices. So, I have here the ones from Fresh Skin Lab, yung kanilang tomato glass skin toner. They also have their new Jeju Aloe Ice Toner. And ito, dito talaga nagsimula yung love ko for hydrating toners. The Collagen Toner from Watson's, one of the best, I can say. Now that we're done hydrating the face, which is adding moisture back or adding more water on your skin, ito na, magmo-moisturize na tayo. Now, yung mga moisturizers, sila po ay ginagamit to seal in the moisture or to prevent the water from your skin from evaporating quickly. Kaya nga talaga mas maganda maglagay ng lotion kapag damp pa yung balat mo. Yung basa-basa pa siya. Kasi meron siyang matatrap na moisture. Itong si Snail White Facial Screen. Ito rin ang haba rin ang pangalan nito. Pero it's on your screen right now. Ito, sobrang love ko tong moisturizer na to. Kasi it it instantly hydrates and moisturizes the skin. Yes, there are products that, you know, do the same thing. They both hydrate and they both moisturize. Pero mas maganda na, of course, you add more hydration para kapag nag-moisturize ka, mas malami yung mat masisil niya. Kapag naglagay ka ng moisturizer sa isang completely dry skin, you will find yourself constantly applying moisturizers all throughout the day kasi hindi magiging sapat. Kasi nga, kulang pa yung tubig na natatrap niya doon sa balat mo. Now, this is the part where a lot of you guys are making a mistake, okay? Kasi yung iba, they just stop with moisturizing. They forget to apply sunscreen. Sunscreen is very important, especially when you are about to go out and kapag mamamasahe ka na. Basta, sa umaga, kailangan mo talaga ng sunscreen. Although, you can skip the sunscreen at night kasi wala naman ng sun exposure doon. The reason why is because the sun, yung araw, yun talaga nakaka pagpabilis ng aging process sa atin. So, as much as we can, kailangan ma-delay man lang natin yung aging process para mapanatili natin ang younger looking skin. Pagdating naman sa mga sunscreens, maganda na ang i-apply mo will not go lower than SPF 30. Higher than SPF 30, mas maganda. The higher, the better. For example, this one from Lux Organics. This is their newest product that I absolutely love because of the texture and because of the way it feels on my skin. And I also have this one from Village 11. It comes in a trio. Ito, tong, tong Village 11 na sunscreen na ito. The pink, the yellow, and the blue one. Sobrang love na love ko sila talaga. This is available pala sa Shopee. Basta, I will have all the links in the description box just in case you guys want to try them. So, ayan na una ko ilalagay na sunscreen. Yes, I reapply my sunscreen all throughout the day. But I don't constantly use my fingers to apply the sunscreen. Kaya nga, after using a cream type, yung mga susunod na application na yun ay spray type na. So that's it for today's video. So this is Building Basics, the skincare edition. Now, I want to hear from you guys. Ano yung lineup ninyo na mga basic skincare? Ilagay nyo po yun dun sa comment section sa baba. Let's try to build a community where we can share, you know, educational information sa isa't isa. Marami pa akong videos na gustong i-share sa inyo. At alam nyo ba kung meron kayo request, pwede nyo po yun i-type sa comments. And mali nyo, baka gawan din natin siya ng exclusive video. Video. Follow me on my other social media platforms like Instagram at Chris Lumaki, and I will see you on the next video. Bye!